Damn! I like that because I'm going to switch it. Real quick. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy here, Messy Miles, and your girl, Miss Mika, and you are watching up, Keeping It Real with Mika and Messy Miles. It's been so fucking long. It's been for fucking ever. It's like, been so long. Like I know y'all about to fix your own goddamn problem. Y'all fixed your own life. Y'all didn't need it. But they fixed their own life. They, they fixed their own damn problem. Right. Like, I tell you, it's just been so much going on and Ooh, this, that, and the third. Busy. We've been so fucking busy. Especially to record. Uh, it's, just, it's just ridiculous. Okay. But we do really think Thank y'all for sticking with us and cussing us out on Twitter and, right. and, I mean, and where the Instagram. Fuck and, yeah, we appreciate it because y'all you know, check it in. Yeah. Right. Keep in mind, please still send us your emails if you have any problems, if you have any discrepancies. Every time I see that ain't changed. If you have any discrepancies, uh, something <laughs> that from I your like word. Yes, yeah. discrepancy. But it don't go. It's a, it's a do. It's a, it just sounds so intelligent. But it don't go. If you have any problems. Any discrepancies, please email us at messy yeah, at Google yahoo dot com. For his ass, so he'll know in the context of which. Yeah, and then this you. thing, I'm using discrepancies right, and this bitch got a degree. You should know this. Discrepancies, I'm using it correctly. Please let this bitch know that I'm using discrepancies not for, right. Not for you got the you got the meaning right, yeah, but not for what we doing. Well, it's a problem. Look at that mouse. Look at that. I don't have to know. Dude. Fuck it. We, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> if you got any problems, <laughs> let me know. Yeah. And we're going to try our best our business before you solve your own. <laughs> like y'all probably not already did. Y'all probably did. already did. Is we're going to try. This bitch or is it just me? It's probably just you. I mean, in the, can I in the kitchen? It's, 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 it's a motherfucking giraffe pussy it's in the like kitchen. like just... <laughs> but when I tell y'all, it's so cold. It's cold as it's cold as fuck. Cold as fuck cold in right now. Like yeah. it's real cold. It's real. It's that's real odd for this time of year because usually it still be it be like okay. Like, it was like last week. It was. It be like a little cold yeah. weather, but now nah, when I tell you, Mother Nature done took off her panties and it's blowing fucking icebergs outside. It's ridiculous. Yes. But we've wasted three minutes and Already. thirty-five seconds of y'all time, so we're gonna get Sorry. right into it. This is titled "Help Me" with a like a lot of exclamation marks. Nigga, like, nigga, okay, yeah. help me, dear Mika and Miles. My name is Republic. <laughs> Am I reading it right? My name is Republic. My name is because that ain't that. that. I know damn well. Ain't nobody named that child Republic. <laughs> That's what it's saying. Dear Mickey and Miles, my name is Republic, and I don't give a fuck if you say my name. I know you don't, because right, that ain't yours. I know damn well ain't nobody named you Republic. <laughs> anyway, I need to know what is what in the holy hell to do. So this okay. girl I talked to a good while back told me she's pregnant and wants me to be the daddy and all that good shit. But I have an amazing girlfriend who I love so fucking much. I'm a lesbian, by the way. Keep going, because I remember this one. Like, I think we did No, this. I told you about it. Keep going. We haven't did this one. But the thing is, I see a discrepancy already. Because <laughs> she's a lesbian. How you going to be? How this bitch want you to be daddy and, and you got to you a lesbian. Yeah, I don't. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Maybe she's walking around like D with a skin on. <laughs> okay. And this whole no, I will always have feelings for her. And we haven't talked in about a year. And she uh, pulls this shit. My girl told me I got a major choice to make. And to make it wiser. My question is, should I stay with my girlfriend or try to make it work with this bitch? I don't think you really want to be with her because she a whole shit bitch. Wait, so... I mean, if I'm reading. Yeah, because you... I'm I don't right. want to leave my girlfriend, but I don't want to leave her with no way to make ends meet, you know? Is she taking my sweetheart for nat uh, nature for a weakness or is she genuine? Side note, Mika, you are so damn pretty. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. <laughs> Republic won't be some of that pussy. Uh-uh, Republic. We won't swing that way. But I appreciate it, though. I, I, you know, I take all compliments from whichever gender, creed. It don't make me no difference. But, yeah, nah, Republic. He ain't going to be munching on this. But come on. <laughs> but wait a minute. Okay. Because I got lost in the middle somewhere. Okay. Now, 
is she is she saying the girl she used to talk to? Is, yeah, the is girl she pregnant. is the one that's so pregnant. So she's actually with her girlfriend now, right? She's so she's in a relationship. Her, right, she's in a relationship. But the girl she used to talk to is now pregnant and mm-hmm. want her to be dead. Want her to be dead. I see a discrepancy already. So what happened to the nigga that got her pregnant? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Why he can't? Because apparently he's the date that he got her pregnant. I know, Republic. What I'm trying to figure out is... You may think... You ain't talked to this bitch in however many years or months. I don't even think she said anything. But she said it's been a while. Right. This bitch that got pregnant... You ain't you. You not obviously you ain't the dad because you got a big fat puss in your pants. Yeah, you ain't you ain't shooting shit. So so I'm just trying to figure out out of all the people in the world why she come knock on your door for you to take care of dad the the baby. She should went to her baby dad or her mom and dad or whoever taking care of her to take care of the baby. And then another flip side, she might not know who the dad is. Exactly, she might might just want to yeah put it back on public. Well, I don't see how she can put it on the public. I'm just saying, want Republicans to help her take care of the Republic, baby. Republicans, this is my thing, bitch. You stupid if you leave a girl, your girlfriend, and take obviously care of baby you ain't say you ain't say you and your girlfriend have no kind of problems to go take care of a motherfucker, another bitch's baby, right? That ain't gonna never be yours, and you ain't talking to this bitch so goddamn long. You worry about her making ends meet. You need to be worried about making the right motherfucking choice because if if I was your girlfriend and you pick a pregnant bitch that ain't got nothing to do with you. It'll be your ass. If I was her girlfriend and she tell me she got to decide, she got a choice to make, I'll make a choice for her. Bitch, it's over. Really? Because if you really tell me true. you got to think of, it should be nothing to think about. If I'm your girlfriend, this somebody that you ain't been with in a while and want you to be her baby daddy, you ain't even no daddy. You ain't even a man. There's no, if I was your girlfriend, the choice would have already been made because I would have told you you can your shit ass. and you can go back to her and that test to the baby. <laughs> I don't think I don't I don't know what else. Home, I don't mean no harm, Republic. I love you, but uh, hey, I don't. I'm gonna tell you, man. I mean, you either stick with your girlfriend or you would be a fool. You, you be really a would, fool. though. You'd be a damn Cause fool. Because you broke up with her for a reason. Don't go back. Let her deal with her own baby daddy slash baby mama drama. Let her deal with her own shit. That's her problem. Ain't got shit to do with you. Fuck that bitch. Basically. That's what I told. Her. Moving along, she but ain't got shit to do with you. Dear Mika and Miles, hey maids, they said. <laughs> hey maid. <laughs> hey maid. I see you got your maid. I feel like, <laughs> like you, you always, always do. do. That crazy bitch. <laughs> okay. My name is Celicia. You can say, my, she said, you can say my name and all the ones I mentioned. Child, thank you. Okay. <laughs> I was dealing with a guy named Fitzgerald. Make me think of Scandal. Um, that's the first thing I thought about. It's Fitzgerald the president. Uh, okay. Scandal. Okay. I was dealing with a guy named Fitzgerald. When I met him, he was an inspiring model who was in school. We had a flawless, she said, two-year relationship. We decided to end about a year ago. So, we wasn't that flawless. Oh, we got that flawless. Okay, so recently, out of curiosity, I went to randomly Google him. Fitzgerald Scott. That's the nigga's name, y'all. Fitzgerald Scott. And I can't wait because I'm going to Google I'm going to Google his ass myself, I know. Okay, just to see how his modeling was coming along. And I stumbled across some gay porn that he recently did (laughs) under the name of Mike Mann. Keep that name, too. Because right after we get through, y'all, we Googling the fuck out of Fitzgerald. Anyway, now I love my gays to death, but he made me sick to my stomach to see that he's doing gay porn and I used to sleep with him. Considering that we never left on bad terms, and in my eyes, we are still kind of friends that that haven't spoke since the breakup. If he ever decides to reach out again, which he will, how would I handle the information that I know? Hopefully, you guys get this. And then they got pound behind. <laughs> <laughs> what they got to do with it? You know, shout out to the behind. So she's going to let you know she's part of the behind. Shout out to the behind. Whatever. I think I'm like on the cover behind. I remember, like, I'm not out there like you guys. Mm-hmm. My shit's on the cover because y'all do too much. I'm mm-hmm. not going to do all it. I love Beyonce. Don't get it. Don't get it twisted. I love her. It's a bad bitch. But you motherfuckers. Y'all too fanatic for me, boo. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna stay in. I'm gonna stay in, in the back part of the hive. That's I'm, fine. I'm being the corner That's of the, the beehive. You know we have different stages to the to the. Child, hive. I ain't even never gonna get to y'all stage. Let's come on. <laughs> let's deal with old fish. Fish Gerald. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 So basically, she's saying how if he do reach out to her, like she probably just don't know how to deal with the information she got now. She basically should she tell him that you know Does she know I heard you doing gay porn. And, you bottom for niggas and shit. <laughs> that's how you should say it. I heard you bottom for niggas and shit now. What's, what's, Woo! The- what's her name? Salisha? Her name is Salisha. 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 Okay. When she first said that he was a model and... Aspiring model. Aspiring model and yeah, such, 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 such I already knew. Yeah. He can't... He gotta be gay. I don't know why. Because he's a male aspiring model. He had to be... 
and his yeah, name this Fitzgerald. is just the first thing that popped in his head. Fitz- I, I just pictured a Fitzgerald, light skin with good hair, green eyes, and bottoming for niggas, and, and with pink lips, and, and he, he bottoming for niggas. And he bottoming for niggas. I, yeah. I mean, when you was coming, that was that was just me though. Yeah, like, that um, was just me. Um, yeah, I didn't leave off on bad terms. You still consider yourself a friend. I mean, if it were me to tell you the truth, I would say something. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I was like, you know what I said, you know. He like, you know, so I, I was looking just to see, just say, like how you just told us. I was just trying to check on you, see how your modeling had picked up, and yeah, I seen a little new shots and gay porn and, and shit. What you doing? She said, uh, do you just mean, I mean, if, and if, if you, if you, you don't accept it or, yeah, really, it's based on you, yeah, because you found out about it, you found out about it, and obviously you troubled about it. Because I mean, it's you up to you, it's, it's really good, it's, it's you, you either gonna accept it or you're not gonna deal with it. Now, the whole part is, should you be worried because you were sleeping with him, bitch? If y'all hadn't broke up over a year ago and you ain't broke out and you ain't got HIV, AIDS, tested in. What the fuck you worried about it for? No, nah, because it could... It, I'm saying, it though. It could not show year? up. To, no, it, it sometimes don't show up to like five years. Okay, well, go get tested. Just go get tested. You have to get, go get tested every... I think it's just every year. I mean, but just because... No, I mean, because this... I see what she's saying, because she probably thinks of that, which is what I'm thinking. He may have been... He may just want comfortable enough to be out the closet yet. But this... Or he may... You know, what he sleeping mean, with me Just because he was sleeping with me and women doesn't mean he was protecting himself. And it doesn't necessarily... And, you know, but having AIDS and HIV is not a gay disease. No, but she's saying if he was sleeping with both of them... I mean, she never... No, she don't know what he was doing with his other partner. He might have been using other things. doing. If she, she get AIDS... No, that's what she's she saying. Age. She just wondering if she should... I mean, ...feel well, some type of way. Should you feel some type of way? Yeah. The fuck you mean? I mean, but she don't have proof. No, you yeah, don't. That's why I said she should probably she should go get tested because you don't. First of all, if it's been a whole year, the bitch should have been got tested. She probably have. Okay, well she ain't gonna worry about. I'm just saying. See, you taking it like she's saying. Oh, he was sleeping with niggas, so Man, now I have eggs. That ain't what she, she didn't say. She, she didn't say it. She just said she was saying how should she if he reached out to her, how should she put in? She didn't say nothing about him. We brought we brought that part. Oh. That's mad. just you. You got mad. That, that, yeah, you shouldn't get mad. Because, I mean, that is. She do need to go get tested. She don't know what he was doing with his other part. She should get a test regardless. Yeah, she should. So, yeah. You know, I don't feel like you should say you, should, you get tested just because this motherfucker was sleeping with me in the end. That you ain't what regardless. she said. That is what she said. Oh, she go God get... damn it, Miles. Okay. I see we not, we, we not going to agree on this because that's not what she said. But, you know, like I said, I really feel like it's going to be up to you. There's nothing he can do. If you tell him, either he's going to get mad about it, either he might want to whoop your ass, or he might be like, yeah. I mean, if he get mad about it, that, that ain't on you neither. If he get mad about it, you just be like, well, fuck it. I'm just, you know, trying to bring it to you and we talk about mm-hmm. it. I mean, I mean, like, if, if, unless you finna fuck him again, it really shouldn't make no difference. It really shouldn't. I mean, y'all. I mean, y'all, 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 y'all want to be friends. If you want to be his friend, I also okay, want to hey. know this. If y'all relationship so flawless, why y'all break up? Okay. Hmm. That's what I really want. I wonder if that was the crack and the flawless thing right there. I wonder mm. if that was it. Because you found out he was bottoming. <laughs> but yeah, uh, basically just to wrap it up. It's, hey, what's them names? We're going to Google Fitzgerald and his Charlie. porn name is Mike Man. She's so messy. She's Ooh, not she said that. Oh, you probably shouldn't have said Fitzgerald. You're so you messy. Messy. Now that I think about it, that's why you said, y'all can say all the names out of because you messy, Solution. Now, what if this boy really ain't out and we putting his name out? And this guy was his real name, Fitzgerald Scott, wasn't it? Mm hmm. Fitzgerald Scott. Oh, Solution, you dirty motherfucker. You Ooh, messy. Yes, you dirty. I love it, but you messy. Mm-hmm. Hey, you I mean, messy. He can't put my ass on you. My nigga. He's going to get you, Solution, though, because he know you're staying. Solution, going to get your ass covered in them phone cookies. So, he's going to be your ass over. Cause you let the, <laughs> you let the ball drop. Too bad for you. Yeah. <laughs> you, <gonna warn> you. <laughs> Hi, I love watching y'all. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. All right, shout My out Brooklyn. My baby daddy set up Hello, a Brooklyn. Morse- oh, sorry. It's from you know, little Jay Z. Right, My baby daddy set up a voice recorder on me and left me. Dang. But now he's trying to get back with me. What should I do? I think he tampered with the tape because I never cheated on him. It's so much shit missing out. It's of like, that. it's like, first of all, Brooklyn, uh, what's her name? Nevia. Nevia? Let me see. Yeah, I guess N- Nevia. I don't even Nevea, see the name. Right there. In EVA. Never. First, <laughs> never. Never write us again without no punctuations, no commas, no motherfucking. <laughs> It ain't nothing. Like, never you left so much shit out of there. You should never send another letter without proofreading that bitch. That's what you should do. So you know what? Delete, We're delete, gonna skip delete. you never because that shit didn't even make no sense. Bloop. Should I out him or not? Miss, oh. 
Oh, you were talking about her top yeah, name. name. Miss Head Game. Miss Head Game. Cheese. Anyway. Cheese. Should I out him or not? Why are everybody trying to out everybody? Come on, y'all. Dear Mika and Miles, I love the way you guys keep it real, and I hope you guys can help me with my problem. My name is Tiffany. She said, feel free to say my name. Hey, Tiffany. What's up, Tiff? I'm an openly gay woman who is best friends with a not-so-openly gay slash bi man. Oh, it's getting shit out of me. This is where my problem comes into play. We have been friends for years, and I always knew him as being a straight man until about two years ago when he told me he has had sexual encounters with men. When I say he is not openly gay, I'm saying he is all the way in the closet. He has girlfriends to hide the fact that he likes men. I wasn't really deep into his lifestyle like that until we recently became roommates. He has a girlfriend that he's been with for a year, and I consider her a friend also. Now that I'm in such close proximity with him, I see his personal choices as being reckless. I have personally seen him have one night stand after... I guess that's supposed to be one night stand after the other. Whatever. With different men. And he has gone as far as telling me some encounters were unprotected. Me being gay myself, I know the backlash from out and a person who is not openly gay. <clears throat> I just feel the need to say something because he wants to risk. Because if he wants to risk his life, that is on him. But I think his girlfriend should know. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. What should I do, Tiffany? Mm -hmm. Woo! That is a lot. That is a lot. That's and, fucked up. Um... <laughs> Let me be the first to say that what he doing That's fucked up. is fucked up. It really is. All right. If you're going to be gay, be gay. If you're going to be heterosexual, be heterosexual. And I mean, if you are if in you the... Bi, be bi. Let, him, let somebody know, especially if you're going to have unprotected if you, sex. That's what I was just going to say. If you are going to be in the closet about your shit... Hey, you know, it ain't it ain't in me to push your ass out. If you don't want to be out the closet, and that's it ain't in me to shove your ass out. But if you're going to at least be in the closet, and you know you're going to fuck me and women on the slide. At least protect the motherfuckers that you got. If I don't do right. them like that, that's right. fucked up. And it's too many fucking diseases. Yes, and, it really and is. new shit it coming really out of every motherfucker. They, it, it, it take time up. for some of y'all who live in like big cities and Google the... The statistics on sexual transmission disease. Yeah, you see what the fuck going on. And you gonna be surprised. Miss Jackson was number three like a couple of years ago. With, out of the, age, out yeah. of AIDS. What and we then, say? And then um, it was among younger children. Like what was that shit? Syphilis. The children like high school age from like thirteen. Well, really middle school thirteen up to like eighteen. They was the top. The top. That was the top age group. I can't believe syphilis. it. Cause it don't make no sense. Ain't shit to do in in, in look it ain't towns like here. It ain't yeah, shit to do. They ain't teaching them about. Then your parents going out there and, they, and yeah, they work and yeah. shit. You know, it, it, I mean, it, it's crazy. But Tiffany, it's not your place to push anybody out the closet. Nobody. That's not your damn business. Now, if you consider this girl a friend, I can understand where your concern may be. But you know, you met him first, and you've been his friend first. Now, if you're gonna be a friend, be a friend. Sit him down like an adult and tell him what your problem is. And try to talk to him about it. But as far as you trying to out him out, don't do that. Don't that'll be the worst mistake of your motherfucking life and your friendship. Especially if you consider him a good, good, good ass friend. Somebody you can see being your friend for the rest of your damn life. I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. But what I would do is sit that nigga down and tell him what the problems you may have with him as far as having one night stands and having a girlfriend. But you know, as far as that, his lifestyle is really none of your business at all. Nope. I mean, if I was to sit down, if there was me in that situation, I would do the same thing. Sit down, talk to him, and tell him how he messing with these people. Like you, you, you really take. You could be taking these people out from him. You don't, you don't, and, and, and you don't know. You don't care. Especially if you're not somebody who go get checked every six months. Right, and he probably months. don't. He probably being don't, that he in the closet, right. yeah. Right. So right. yeah, you should probably sit him down. And that's where your it should start with him. If that's your friend, and then you should tell him, I feel like we so we good friends. We we ought to be able to talk about anything. I'm not. Trying to judge you or nothing, but I just want to sit down and tell you and, and tell them. And if you feel, if you have a problem with it so much where you feel like you can't live with him or be his friend, dead go your ass and move the fuck out, get your own and cut off all ties with him. Right. Because, I mean, I understand where you're coming from. Don't get yeah, me wrong. Because, you know, that fucked is up. fucked up. What, what the fuck is your up. motherfucking morals at? You know, so, but don't out him out. That's, that's nobody's business. Okay. Nobody's business to out, out any damn body. I hate that when it happens. Just like when it happened to that football player uh, yeah. a couple of months back when his assistant slash lover. tried to out him. Right. Because he, he was mad. Basically. No, I don't think you should out him, but yeah, you should sit him down mad. and talk to him. You really should. Because he, he, he'll fuck nigga for that. 
Mm-hmm. He's a fuck nigga for that. Say no to fuck niggas. Say no to fuck niggas. He's a fuck niggas. Okay. <laughs> so what's niggas can't say no to fuck boys. I've seen what's the name tweet that was that kid for you. Say no to fuck boys. Say no to fuck boys. I love kid for you. Hey, cheers, man. I love, I, I want to meet him. And I, yeah, I tweeted him. When I tell you that nigga be tripping me the fuck out, like, I literally be crying like, too. Me too. I it's love just some of the shit he just, just be so, like, you wouldn't even think. He mm-hmm. got away with words. Yeah, he, he really, really do. do. And I wish yeah. I could just make one of their damn, you know, doing a little live thing with yeah, the Yeah, I've seen it. Uh-huh. If I can just go to one and meet him take a picture. Yeah. Because, like, I'm really a fan of Kid Fury. Yeah. I love that little black motherfucker. Yeah, that nigga tripping I really up. do. Okay. I moving know. on. Look, this one is titled. Kid Fury and shit. I love Kid Fury. Uh-huh. And he know that, too, because I tweeted that on every, every time, chance I get. And we tweet <laughs> all this shit. But anyway. <laughs> um... This one is titled Some Fishy Shit. Oh, shit. Something uh, in the new clean, clean. Nah. Keep Me Anonymous, Mika. Why do everybody, everybody who say Keep Me Anonymous, they got your name in capital letters. Because I look, I be wanting to set their ass up. You gonna go on, just keep go on. Keep Me Anonymous, Mika, because I know I don't have time for the bullshit. But <laughs> well, since you put it like that, I ain't gonna set you up. Yeah, I know the rundown. Love y'all. Love the show. It's funny as shit. So on and so forth. I appreciate you. Appreciate <laughs> you. But for real, y'all, I don't understand so much. Wait, I don't so. Much, I don't so much need advice as I do in the pen. Yeah, I don't understand so much. Wait, I don't so much need advice as I do an opinion. Okay. I have a good friend who was recently engaged less than a month mm-hmm. later. This friend of mine hopped her happy ass down to <laughs> the courthouse and got married. Don't get me wrong. That's fine with me. More power to you. However, this friend since day one has talked about her wedding this, her wedding that. You know, just girl discussing details. So I find it odd that she was engaged for seven months and married after one at the courthouse. With neither one of their parents there. I'm thinking there's a bun in the oven. Oh. We're close friends, so I could just ask her straight up. But right. I prefer to speculate for a little, LOL. <laughs> so, how, what y'all think? Ja bless man. What was it? Is that Jamaica? Jamaica? Who is Ja? That's their word for God, I guess. Like, oh, okay. Ja, I guess. God bless you too, girl. Jamaica, don't, 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 don't bash me if I got it wrong. That's just what I think. But I think that's what it is. Oh, okay. Um, shit, this was back in August, so the bitch, if she is pregnant, <laughs> she is pregnant you know now, huh? <laughs> we gotta do better. We gotta do better. We really do. We really got, we really do, Miles, because we took a long fucking break. Look, I'm gonna just tell you like this. Me and Mika, we Yeah, some, we be like... No, I'm, I'm talking about this email. Oh. If you are a friend... We tells it like it is. We really do. Like, I don't, you know, a lot of people come in on our stuff saying that we have such a good connection. We play off each other well. Right. We straightforward. And that's how we are in we real really life. We really are like that, y'all. Like, it's, we really it's, are. This is not just for YouTube and just make y'all like This is how we are. Straightforward, to the point. Tell it like yes. it is. You know, and that's one thing I like about her. Like, what's name? This is the real and I am for real. Like, <laughs> <laughs> nothing but so, the truth. if this is one of our friends and me and me, me come and say, hey. I think so. That's how we be. Look, do you do you know that this bitch that ran and got married at the courthouse without having to win? I think the bitch pregnant. And guess what we're going to do? And be like, the bitch probably is pregnant. Let's then go over there. We're going to go over there. We're going to go over there. <laughs> yeah. We're going to call the friend up. We're going to be like, what you doing? What you doing, girl? <laughs> okay, we're going to come over there and get some eating, such and such and such. And we're going to go over there and we're going to, hey, bitch, you pregnant. Look, bitch, you're going to be pregnant or something. That's how it come out. And, you know. Bitch, you're going to be pregnant or something. Cause and we can always. Bitch, you ain't had that way. You talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I sure glad everybody dressed. I'm so sure glad everybody fucking dressed for that wedding. They didn't happen. Y'all went to the fucking courthouse, and you must, be, come you must be you pregnant. must be knocked up, bitch. Is you pregnant? And there it is. And there it go. That's where we get our motherfucking house. You know it is what it is. So and then once we get to the next day, we get girl, our shit and we go. Okay, Pretty we get much. out and then we go get in the car and we and we talk about <laughs> it. <on the> way. <laughs> we talk about it on the way home. Be like, I knew that bitch you pregnant. Mom, I told you. So, you know, um, oh, man. That's, if that's your yeah. good home, girl, that's your good friend. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. I'm telling you, it works every time. Yeah, every time. We get the answer we seek. Every fucking time. <laughs> he get the answer every motherfucking time. So, uh, I think she was pregnant, but, you know. Oh, she. They probably, if you watch this, update <clears throat> us and let us know. She probably had no damn money. Probably did. Yeah. I don't, personally, I don't see nothing wrong with people who go to the, like, I would go to the courthouse if, you know, if I decide I want just a big reception mm-hmm. and I've got a big ass wedding ring, like a big ass rock. I got no wedding. I like my ring. Mm. I'm a jewelry person. I have the Me, big ass I rock. Me, I think I'm a, I'm a wedding. I like the whole ceremony and being able to celebrate with your family and friends. So, 
I That's think for me, um, the courthouse thing would probably be out of the question for me. I mean, I don't see a problem with it now. I won't. No, I don't see a problem with other yeah. people, but me personally, I'd like to walk down the aisle. I'd be either or. You know, have my family and friends there and tear up because you know I'm wuss. Yeah, oh God, he is such a pussy, y'all. It don't make no sense. I'm, I'm he cried about everything. I'm Aquarius. I'm, I don't cry about everything. Now. He's a big bitch. It just don't touches my heart. He's a big bitch. I, I touch, touches my heart. What's the next one? What you do? <laughs> Opposites don't attract. Hey, Miles. Hey, Mika. My name is Tina. I don't know if this is your real name or not, but you didn't put uh keep me anonymous. So Hey Tina. What's up, Tina? I am currently talking to this guy. Really nice. Great job on place, but very materialistic. Don't get me wrong, that's fine because he can't afford his lifestyle. Almost every time I talk to him, he's either shopping for clothes or thinking about needing to buy something to match his shoes. I, on the other hand, am not materialistic and make nowhere near what he does. I like to look nice, but I don't put so much emphasis on makeup or clothes. He freaked out the other day because he got a blemish on his face. He strikes me as a as a I think that's just supposed to be metrosexual, but she got butt in front of him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, he strikes me as a metrosexual. I don't want to talk any further with him because we are so different. I don't know how to tell him in a nice way. Why? And please help. She'll know why she can't tell him in a nice way. <laughs> um, I mean, just, I mean, if you don't want to talk to him, tell him you don't want to talk to him. Send him a text message. But it's like, what is it like the only thing besides him being a material? the only thing you could. Well, something no, I take that back because a lot of you, you can't change nobody. Person got to change on their own. Now, you might can make little suggestions or, well, you know, you don't have to buy that. You don't have to spend that much. You can go here or go there. But if that's what he wants to do, and like he said, it ain't hurt nobody. He able to afford his lifestyle okay. and his house, and he asking you for no goddamn money. Like, no if it ain't in your pocket, you better try to get on the great boat. Because if it ain't coming out your pocket, <laughs> ain't, ain't coming out your ends. I, don't see, the, I really don't see what the problem is because. Because quite as careful with me, I throw me a couple pieces in there. <laughs> okay. Throw me in the bag. I, I mean, uh, I don't and he want me to go shop with him. Throw you a couple pieces in there. Come. The I, I, you know, the thing about it is... Now, just when me, people, I thought it was a little jealousy, but maybe you're jealous because you can't afford it. I was thinking that, too. Maybe it could maybe. be jealousy hmm. or maybe... I mean, like but you nah, said, I you mean, don't make as much money as him, so you... or and, and, you know, a lot of people who... She probably never grew up. Right, as I was say, you went a whole different way. Like, tech break, you know, mm -hmm. you, you just see stuff... Whole, since you don't make as much as he do... You see stuff totally different, like as far as money wise. You you probably think about making your dollar straight, mm -hmm. you know. So it's really like she said, they just opposites. But I don't. I if they haven't broke up, I really don't think there's nothing to break up over. Mm -mm. So that's mm -mm. what I mean. If he's not cheating, he at least do you know how many niggas out here, a bitch or women out here that's paying for their nigga having like you ain't buying him cashmere sweaters and paying for his haircuts and shit. So I wouldn't give a fuck. He needs a shit. That's all I can do to like take care of himself. Me too. Groom yeah. come around me, groom and your hair cut. Then, then next week, smelling then, good. Then next week, bitch, be emailing to my son, my man don't wash his ass. Yeah. Uh, his See? nails is dirty. You he don't keep up with himself, his ass stinking. <laughs> you bitches are simple. I mean, I don't think there was nothing to break up over. I mean, mm. if just, but I mean, if you can't deal with it, don't deal with it. But go get you a poor nigga then. Go, yeah. go, go, go and, get and somebody then see how much. Problem. See what? Yeah. See how much. How, how much you like then. Cause I mean, if I'm making the type of money, I'm gonna have nice shit. Period. And I mean, like I said, if he can afford his lifestyle, uh, and you she said she's clearly mad. said he can afford what she the fuck said. You got. Yeah, so it really don't matter. He, he I thought maybe she was gonna say he asked her for money or she had to chip in or something. Now, when it comes to the point where you got the nigga show on rent and he come to you and hey, babe, I bought these shoes, but I'm gonna show on rent. That's what you tell his ass. I know you better grab that box, take that shoe box, and make you a house up at that beach because I ain't paying for nothing. But it ain't came to this, so it really shouldn't be a problem. I don't see what the issue is. So, uh... <laughs> like Nene Gergo. Hey, y'all, I really appreciate you responding to my question. The only problem is that I... Oh, wait, wait a minute. I don't know what you got. Is this an update? It gotta be. Yeah, it is. So, what was the first one? Let me see what Hey, Mika Miles, I love your show. And y'all always crack me up. You can say my name. My name is Ashley. And my boyfriend's name is Brian. When I first met him in August of 2012, he was very sweet and made me feel special. I know that sometimes people say things they don't mean, but it all seems so genuine. Now, a full year later, he doesn't make me feel as special as he used to, though, because he got the pussy. When I asked him what changed, he said it was all just an act. 
I'm not really like that. Brian I just asked it like that. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn. I like that because you I put a switch on it. Now, four years later, he doesn't make me feel as special as he used to. When I asked him what changed, he said it was just our neck. I remember this, but I don't remember what advice we gave. That's how long it's been. Damn. So, what happened? We must have asked her a question. We had to. We responded. But this is her response. She said, hey, y'all, I really appreciate you responding to my question. The only problem is I've never had sex with him or even gotten past hugs and kisses since we Uh, lived an hour away from each other. I told him that I wasn't happy anymore and that I wanted to end it with him. He begged me to give him a week to make things right. Since then, he's had a week, okay? Since I then, remember. he's made me feel on top of the world. He took me to karaoke night and decided, dedicated a song that I knew by Alicia Keys. That's when I knew by Alicia Keys to me. I know he really cares about me. I ain't never heard that one either. And he's back to making me feel special. My concern is, is still in that. The feelings are there, but he doesn't express them until I ask him to do, and I shouldn't have to beg for it. <clears throat> His affection for my boyfriend. However, the feelings I have for him won't just go away, and I know I wait, and I know I would hurt him if I left. P.S. I met I met him a year ago, but we've only been dating for three months. It wasn't until we started dating that things started to change. So basically, the question is like, should she leave his ass? Should she leave his ass? Because the only time she gets the affection is when she asks. When she asks for it. Does he flip yes. You should. You should, you leave should his make his ass. Sometimes. When she told, when he told your ass, it was all that. I should have did. You should exit stage left mm-hmm. on that act. Cause mm-hmm. if th- then that, that let you know that he won't ever be him. He was bullshitting just to get you. So what you should do, since every time you like you said you may leave him, he'll. You know, do something to make it up to you or do something nice and show you affection just to get you to stay. <clears throat> that's what it is. It's only a ploy just to get you to stay. Yep. That's all. That's what he's doing. And once you stay, he probably will keep that up for maybe like a week. Boom. Back to the same thing. So, get yep. what you should do. Show his ass that you ain't playing. Leave. Yep. Show Like, you got... Sometimes when it's stuff like that, when they change just to make you stay, and then they go back to the same... You have to actually show them that you're not playing. Leave. Mm-hmm. Dump his ass for a good, and don't even go back. And if he stop chasing you and realize he don't want, okay, then move along, move on. Hopefully, you be there moving on. By if he so actually nice. realize that you're serious and he get with you and he do what he's supposed to do, keep him. It ain't that, it ain't that hard. Mm-mm. Not Stay that hard, that. people. Not that hard. Nothing hard at all. Dump his ass. Next. Y'all girls be falling deep for niggas so quickly. No, don't. Don't say y'all girls. Yeah. No. First of all, I'm a woman. Oh, ooh. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, She's a woman. Right. I turned 26, November 24th, you guys. You guys can tweet me happy birthday messages and all that good stuff. Thanks. Oh, bitch. Uh, shut up, bitch. Read that just one. Just because you show me some. Not that. Oh, I was going to say, then yeah, I read that. I was going to say, though. shit. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, I got no, to. I, I hate We need to hire somebody to read this shit. I'm sit back when I feed up. <laughs> sit back and scratch our ass. <laughs> okay. Um, this one is titled Friends with Benefits. They said, mm-hmm. please keep me anonymous. Hmm. Benefits. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Mika and Miles, I have a situation and I really need some outside advice. So I'm a homosexual man and I've been talking to this guy for about a year now. He was by curious and was looking for the right guy to test out his curiousness. <laughs> That's where you fucked up at, sir. So basically, anyway. Basically, he wanted to fuck. He was just fucking and you. And you bought it to test out his bacteria. And was hoping that you could make him come on out if you bought him a couple times, but apparently it didn't work. But okay. Anywho, long story short, I was the guy he chose. We went from being together to breaking up to getting back together to being friends with benefits to getting back together and now back to friends with benefits. All because he still has a strong attraction for females. He says, although he wants me, he can't see himself committing to another man fully and giving up females completely. IDK, what to do, because he's a wonderful guy and I love him to death, but it's breaking my heart 
that I can't have all of him. What should I do? Please help. Child, this is way in August. I mean, I just don't understand what she wants to tell you. Stay Woodman continue to bend over while he just go fuck everything in the skirt. That nigga ain't about nothing. He ain't no, no, about no. shit. You can't see yourself committing to a man fully, but you can see yourself fucking a man. Okay. I mean, because if you want me, you're going to be with me. Okay. It's simple as that. Every, that, that it's really not that hard. Like, I just really wish a lot of people would know their self-worth. You, I, I swear, if you really just look in the mirror and take time and just love yourself. You're not realize. saying that you don't love yourself, right. but you'll realize you, that it's somebody out there who can commit well, be with, you, with your commit, ass and right. be with your ass. And be faithful to you faithful and only you. And don't give a damn who know. Right. So, you know, these the, the guys who are by, which, you know, if you buy, get your life, have your fun, and all that good shit, but... The niggas who claim that they can't see themselves with a man uh, publicly, but and, hmm. and but still want to lay up with a bitch and don't don't commute, be that, that for they them. They not about shit. And they don't, not, be, don't that be that for them because they using your That's ass. That's basically what you know. Doing. They using. Now, I'm not saying that he might not have no feelings for your ass, but at the end of the day, he don't. He he, don't. Want, he gonna have to. He gonna he wanna he gonna try to fake it till he make it. Give his ass ultimatum. It is what it is. If he loves you so much, okay, tell him, look, you love me so much, be with me. You can't be with me, I'm finna bounce. And bounce, leave. But you know, they did get hard, boy. They all they got one. Well, well, guess what? Don't write me no goddamn more. Don't write me no more. <laughs> and you don't keep yourself in the same situation. I mean, I know it, it's easier said than done. Yeah. Trust me, I understand. It is easier said than done. Because once they feel involved, oh, they so in love. They finna go jump off a bridge because they love this nigga so much. And this nigga don't love them. Child cheese. It, I mean, look. <laughs> if he can't be with you, leave. Give him up and made him leave. This one is titled, Why Don't Men Approach Me? <laughs> what? Go ahead. It's really... <laughs> Go ahead. It's you. It's, it's you. You know that right. You won. You in first place. Mm -mm. It's them. <clears throat> hey, Miles and Mika. Y'all can say my name. It's Nicole. I feel I am very attractive. See attached picture. Y'all can show my pic. Oh, okay. Let me see. Hey, dude. Let me see. Oh, she cute. Let me see. Ooh, huh? Shut up, Miles. <laughs> She's natural. She don't need a primer. Her puff ball is cute. Okay, I'm sorry. You an asshole. I'm <laughs> not no asshole. I'm going to say deep firm. You ain't going to try to say it low like that. Y'all <laughs> uh, read natural people if y'all find to read his ass. They ain't gonna try to say like, oh, she's cute, me first. I didn't know she, I didn't know she was uh, natural. That's, she's natural. Her hair is natural. It's cute. Maybe this is the bad hair day. No, she's actually a she very really is attractive cute. I showed a picture. Though, for real. Maybe. I'm going to upload them and put it yeah. right here. Maybe we can get some people to approach her. And she got some ass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, read the thing. Okay. Hey, Miles and Mika. Y'all can say my name. It's Nicole. I, I feel I am very attractive. See a attached pic. Yeah, I can show my pic, but for some reason, whenever I'm out in public, no guy ever walks up to me, and I really don't know why. I have been told by guys in the past, back in high school, that I look mean and... Mm. Oh, <laughs> I get told mm. that out. <laughs> my mom told me. That's why, that's why nobody say shit to you, you mean, mother people, when they look at <laughs> I've been told back in high school that I look mean and that, I, that they were always afraid to say something to me because they thought I would snap on them. Yeah. But it's like, come on. I always thought that a man was supposed to be confident with approaching a woman. But based on my research, I found out that most men aren't confident with approaching a woman. And I was like, okay, whatever. So I decided to go out with a friend to the mall, hoping to meet guys. And to my surprise, guys kept walking up to her. But none came to me, even though the guy who had approached her were, weren't attractive. <laughs> Just saying, mm -hmm. dudes that was approaching a friend, they went oh, okay. to anyway. It still made me feel some type of way and pretty much made her feel dis made me feel discouraged. Right. I had problems with my self esteem before, and I thought I had built confidence, but now She's I'm right. like, maybe I don't look as good as I thought. So what uh -oh. do I do? How can I be more approachable? Thanks in advance. I love you guys. First of all, uh, Nicole, there is nothing. No, I'm you saying, look good, and I'm gonna put this picture up. You really do look good. First of all, ain't nothing wrong with you. Nothing you got a nice shape. You can dress. You got a nice gray of hair. You know, that little joke joke. Yeah, never yeah, mind. Nicole, that, that, yeah, no, no, never mind. And you got some pretty teeth. She ain't ugly at all. She's not ugly she at all. Um, but a lot of times, I mean, when you're not confident, you can see it. 
Some men, they, you know, I've heard that from a lot of dudes. A lot of dudes said confidence will draw them to you. Like, confidence is sexy. Because I know some ugly bitches. I know a lot of people yes. and the nigga on their own be fine. Yeah. And you just see them walking and you think that they motherfucking Beyonce. Yeah. And, you know, it's just all about how you carry yourself. Yeah. Now, if you just, now, the whole thing about looking mean, if you looking mean and if you looking mean all the damn time and got your mouth all tooed up, I'm not gonna come to your ass either. Cause if you say something, I'm gonna cuss your ass back out. That is, that's how it is. Cuss my fuck. Well, I, I, I look honestly. <laughs> I'm always looking mean, y'all. I really am. I don't know why. Look, I got problems, okay? It be shit going on. Some days it just be a day for you not to come up and try to say shit to me. But I've heard that too about me that I, I look mean. But like, honestly, I'm going to tell you what to do because I did this at first. So I got to where I, Nicole, fake it till you make it, child. Mm -hmm. Fake it till you, fake your company. See, you can fake it. Mm -hmm. If you got something on that day and you think, oh, this, my butt look good in these jeans or all of my hair look good today, strut. Strut that shit. Fake it till you make it, Nicole. That's all you got to do. Even though, and, and then too, don't rush it. Somebody, you and somebody come up to you. It, and, it's gonna take the right person to approach you. Mm -hmm. If they that scared to approach you, then they ain't the one. So, like, and then another thing is, a lot of stuff that we are insecure about ourselves, we can change. If it's your weight and you feel like you got a weight problem, lose some weight, exercise. So you know, put yourself on a diet. If it's you feel like you don't have a lot of hair, they said hair all goddamn day. All motherfucking night. See, weeks, see, see, like I mean, all kind of shit. If you think it's your wardrobe, you can hey, try what something is it? different. But how it go? If you can't sew it, oh wait. If you can't grow it, so, sew it. God damn if you it. can't achieve it, weave it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. And I know for a long time, for me, especially back in like middle school, I think my confidence came after. Mine did, oh, yeah. Like I guess maybe twelfth grade and. Actually, oh. mine didn't come to, yeah, mine didn't come, really, mine didn't hit to college, actually. So, I know what you're going through. Mine didn't hit to, like, I know exactly what I you're going through. college, you know. but I faked it till I made it. Until you motherfucking made it. Like, yeah. start, like, you know, look at yourself. Yeah, don't let nobody, that's the worst thing a woman can do is let a man or just because me and I are probably let that reflect your self-esteem or affect, well, affect your self-esteem. That's the worst thing you can do. Because, you know, every time you don't. Get hit on at the club, or every time you leave the club, or not just the club, you know, leave somewhere without getting hit on or without getting a compliment or getting a number, you gonna feel terrible. You gonna be like, damn, you know, why? Didn't... So don't don't do that. Let let yourself affect your self esteem. You know, every morning before you leave, look at yourself and get you a full mirror, check yourself out, look at your butt, be like, oh, I look good in this. Play with your boot. Well, you know, not like that, but push up your, you know. Let your let you motivate you. Let you you know you affect you. Mm -hmm. Don't let nobody I else agree. or what you don't get or the lack of it. Don't let that affect your self esteem. That that's the worst thing you can do. And Nicole, you are real cute. You look cute. I love your natural puff. My puff ain't that big yet. That's why I won't wear mine out. But you look good, girl. Ain't nothing wrong with you. So mm -hmm. fake it till you make it. Just. Give yourself your confidence. Check yourself out in the mirror every day. Tell yourself you the shit every day. Trust me. After so long, you're going to start to believe. Yep. Trust me. It says, keep my ass anonymous, Mika. That's in the damn title. Let me see. Gee. Let me see. Man, fuck y'all. You know you can put your damn name in the thing. <laughs> let her tell everybody who you is. I live in Cali and start my senior year in high school on August 26th. Ooh. Oh this motherfucking God, November. Yes. <laughs> I just gotta drop my head on that one. That is so bad. I'm also the president of my BSU Black Student Union. All right. All right. Power to the motherfucking people. All right. I'm also the president of my BSU Black Student Union club at school, which has really made me more loving of the African American community. Every college that I'm going to apply is a HBCU, including Florida A and M. My mom and other family members are very supportive of me going to an HBCU, especially since I will be the first in the family to go. All right, congrats. I, I love an HBCU. I love black folks. I love our people. Go to the black colleges because we really have some good ones. So. We yeah. do. Really do. Really do. Okay. Well, I left off it. My mom and other family members are very supportive of me going to HBCU, especially since I will be the first in the family to go, let alone college itself. But since the verdict of Trayvon Martin trial, they told me if I apply to school in Florida, I have to pay for it myself. Yeah, they said, and I've, fuck that. I've, I've told them over and over, Florida is the only state with the stand your ground law, which it's is true. Not, yeah. Which is true, and a lot of people don't know that. Talking about they boycotting Florida, and they're not going to be playing at these shows in Florida, but y'all don't know that. 
Florida's not the only state that has stained ground law. But they still don't want to hear it. Do you think I should listen to them and not apply because of something that happened in the past? Or should I apply, get accepted, and attend there and pray for the best? I mean, is your whole financial aid depending upon your family helping, like, to pay for school? Because he, what he said was that they're going to make him, he got to come up, like, With the he got everything himself. himself. Um, and then that's going to be out of state tuition because you're going to a whole other state. Right. So it's going to be even higher. Now, I can do understand why don't nobody want to. I can, but you can't. I, I don't. I can understand. Support. I can understand yeah. why nobody want to get no money to Florida. I can understand his parents being they, scared they, they for They have his sake. so yeah. much bull. It, it, it not, I mean, Florida is just a fucked up state. But you can understand where your parents come from. But at the same time, if Florida A and M, where you want to go, you are gonna have to work hard. Then they say they ain't gonna pay for your shit. Get you. You might as well go and start filling out for them student yeah. loans Financial and aid get you that Pell Grant. And, and, and you know, and, you know, most of the time parents say that shit to scare your ass. Yeah. They're not gonna see your ass if, all the way to Florida and not see you a damn dime. Because if that's where you want to go and that's where you got your heart set on going, go. Because if you change your mind and make a whole different decision, not saying that whatever college you go to if it's not for an you may not like it, but it's gonna take you a minute to get into it. And you're gonna feel like you was forced to go there, you really didn't want to go there, you did that to make you know, you may end up regretting it. You might end up, you know, pissed at your parents. You may end up resenting them. Resenting them. Like, yeah. And you're gonna be mad you're gonna be mad at your damn self too. But a lot of times if Sit you sit down and talk to them and let them know, you know, even though I understand what's going on in Florida, but I can get he can get Hurt anywhere. So okay. Something can happen anywhere. It's shit going on everywhere. Yep. So, you know, no, you know, to be, I mean, you know, this is my opinion. But, you know, it, it, it no, never mind. I'm just gonna, I mean, go ahead. I'm going to stay off of it because you know, you know how I get. Go ahead. I mean, I, it, I, I feel like the Trayvon Martin thing was not so much oh, a yeah, Florida thing. Not, it was a black thing, white thing. Yeah, that didn't Even though the guy wasn't white. Movement. But, you know, we're going to move on. Yeah, it was a white I, thing. It was. You know, I, I'd be here all my fucking day. But, um, like what I was saying, if you end up going to another college because your parents told you to do so, you going to, you know, most of the time, if you're not where you want to be, you ain't going to do shit. And you're going to be and mad. That's just, well, that's, like, that's man, just, I hate the, yeah. That's for anything in life. If you're not going to the school you want to go to, you ain't going to push yourself. If you're not the job you want to be at, you're going to be coming in late. You gonna, you know, it's right, just, I mean, money. that's how it is. If you're not with the person you want to be with, you ain't going to put in no effort. So, I say... Go with your first mind. Go with your heart. And if they are serious about not paying for your school, your colleges, there are ways to get that school paid pay for. Yeah. You can find your job. You can take out some loans. You can get financial aid. Uh, and it's just going to be hard until they come around. you're grown. You're going to have to do what you got to do. Right. You're grown. If you got to so, do them student loans, you got to pay them big back. Yep. I mean, it is what it is. I had to do student tell you, loans. Sally Mae do not play. And when Texas came around about two years ago, she got all hers and one studying it. Took it smooth out my damn check in one study. I ain't had to worry about Sally to touch mine. She took all mine, old bitch. I wish bitch. I wish she would try to stick a pinky in my income tax check. <laughs> and I'm going to have to find that bitch. I'm supposed to get fucked out a while back. And she took all them too. Well, I'm back in school, so, so hopefully I don't got to worry about them no time soon until I finish this part. And I hope everything work out for you and go HBC. Yeah, but I mean, just talk to them first. And, and then if they really serious, you tell me. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. It's your life at this point. And that's you want to go to school then. Yep. Well, that's I all the time. <laughs> that's all the time we have. We thank y'all so much. We didn't set up here for a damn hour. Y'all. We appreciate y'all. This was fun. It, I it was. This. I missed this. We, we, we don't keep it up this time, y'all. We say it every fucking time. <laughs> I know y'all like bullshit. We said that we're going to keep it up this time, y'all. We really are. If this is your first time watching us and you like what you've seen, please press the thumbs up button. Subscribe also. And I also, image, right? <laughs> <laughs> image, right? <laughs> and also share us on all your favorite social networks, Twitter, Instagram, right. Facebook. Right. Um, Sharon is Karen. Sharon bitch. is motherfucking Karen. If you have any problems you want us to talk about it on here, make sure you shoot us an email at MessyMiles at Yahoo.com. Follow right. us on Twitter. I am Messy Miles. It's Messy underscore Miles. And I am Glam Bam. That's X G L A M capital B capital H capital A capital goddamn. Yeah. I really just wish you changed to me. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you what happened. I had the Twitter name, but I locked myself out of the motherfucker, and mm -hmm. I couldn't remember. So I just said, fuck it, and I changed it. It was going to be something else, but there was the only thing that was available. So I just bad. said, fuck it. Just, just. I just said, fuck it. You know, when in doubt, fuck it. I didn't know how to fix it, so I said, fuck it.
Mm-hmm. I'm gonna change that, y'all. Bear with me. All right, and we really appreciate you guys. Thank appreciate you so y'all. much. Share this video. I want to see y'all share this video everywhere. If you watch us and you love yeah, us, and, like oh my us. God, I love y'all yeah. country ass. Y'all do this, y'all do that. We need to see it, Prove God it. damn it. Proof. We need to, the proof is in the pudding. God damn it. I can go for a little pudding. I'm a little pudding right now. <laughs> oh, man. I appreciate you guys. Peace, Peace. out, y'all. Peace. I can't believe you caught the girl nigga party. Just no, because it's just she's really cute. I was like, let me see it in first. That's just so messed up.